the Mojo 2 TV post game report. We're here with the winning coach, Coach Bruce Lilac. I'm Coach Danzy, alongside my partner, Coach Fuller. Now, uh, Coach, and it didn't seem like it was much to do tonight. I mean, you guys, you know, just did your thing, rebounding at will. I mean, multiple opportunities for possessions uh, on every single possession. Talk to me about what you really wanted to get out of this game uh, today. Yeah, I mean, we wanted, we always want to come out and set the pace defensively um, and, and, you know, play really hard. I thought we started a little slow, we gave him 13 points, I think, in the first quarter. Um, but we regrouped and, and came back, and I think we held him like 19 and a half um, all the way till the fourth quarter. So I was happy with that. We always want to come out and set the tone defensively, and then once we do, we start sharing the basketball and transition, it becomes a special game. Yeah, your defense and you're sharing the ball. I saw a lot of energy. Um, Opportunities from your team where you got extra possessions and and you guys share the ball unselfishly so so well You know skipping across the court guys open up for three-pointers or extra passes all that stuff um, Talk to me about uh, the, the transfer from CBA uh, leak talk to you about Mueller his doubt I mean his presence down low is amazing and talk about your son as well. Yeah, so uh, Caitlin brings a lot of energy to the team. He's a great player. We're blessed to have him um, uh, he, he controls the tempo for us. He's got great vision. He can shoot the basketball, and he's a lockup defender. Um, J uh, Jackson, you know, I played with his father. He, he's exactly like his dad. He takes up space. Um, he uses his body very well. We work on footwork every day. He's got. He's just blessed with soft hands. He catches everything, and. Um, you know, Lucas is just an energy guy. He gets up and down the court. He can guard anybody in the area. He's just a, f a phenomenal athlete. Um, those three guys with, with the other two starters and the guys on the bench, this is a special team. You know, these guys these guys buy in. You know, we, we can shoot a three anytime we want in the possession, but we try not to do that. We always said, even since these guys were little, that two passes away from a three-pointer is a layup. These guys have bought into that. That's why we share the basketball so well. Coach, what do you learn from a game like this? How do you keep your kids? What do you take from it? How do you try and get something out of it? With a so game we'll, like we'll, this? we'll look at film tomorrow. We'll have film at 2:30, and we'll we'll sit there and we'll you know we'll look at all the good things we did. We did a lot of good things, but we'll also look at the you know there's going to be some bad defensive rotations. We're going to be able to talk about some opportunities where you know we didn't close out well enough. You know with the proper hand and the, and the way we like to close out. But you know these guys. It's, it's what you know after you know everything that makes you a great team. So these guys are always coming. They're ready to work. They understand that we're, we're not taking the gas, you know, the foot off the gas with these guys. We're going to keep getting better every day. That's our goal. Yeah, Coach, so talk to me about the goals for this team and who are some of those teams that's in the section that you guys are eyeing at may be in the way, so to speak. Yeah, so, you know, obviously, you know, two years ago we, we got beat in the state championship game. Last year we got beat on the last second shot in the sectional final. So our, our, our obviously our long-term goal is to get back to, you know, you know the states. And, um, you know, the first thing we have to do is take care of business and win the league. Then we got to go through sectionals and win the section. There's a lot of good teams out there. You know, we have Greenwich on Friday, then we play Mechanicville. You can never sleep on Tamarack. You know, Waterville, Fonda, all, all teams with great, great stuff, great players, great coaches. Um, there's a bunch of teams in the area you can't take lightly. All right, Coach, so you guys got to a state championship? <laughs> This year, football got to a championship. It's your turn again. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be nice, you know. That'd be nice. I mean, you got to have goals in life, so that's that's the ultimate goal. And along the way, we had these little mini goals we were trying to accomplish. Yeah, talk about that football, man. You got like three guys that I just know offhand. Um, this for following the football this year. I don't follow hard, but I follow a little bit. You know, you got your your son who was amazing this year um, at the running back and defensive yeah, yeah. back, right? Yep, yeah, running um, back and outside linebacker. Yeah, and you had also Mueller, who I, I believe he played quarterback for a little bit because somebody got hurt, and then yeah. he backed the running back. Quarterback, running back. And then back. you had the, uh, the young ninth grader who's a big guy. He played Cucuzzo, tight end. Yeah, something. James Kikuzo. Yeah. He's an unbelievable yeah, guy. Yeah, so that, how, how's that, what type of factor are you guys running here where the guys are just in and out of every sport? What's going on here? Yeah, I just, <laughs> you know, it goes, in, it goes in cycles. So we just have a good cycle going right now. And, and these kids, they put in a ton of time in the weight room. They do. They, they work hard. They get ready for football. And I truly believe, you know, football makes you a better basketball player. Mm. It does. It makes you tough. makes you dive on the floor. Thomas McDonough didn't play football, played this year, had an unbelievable year, helped us get to a state championship. Diving on the floor, getting hit on screens, that stuff used to kind of bother him. doesn't bother him anymore, you know. I think I have nine football guys total. Mm. Um, so it really helps. Practices become very physical. 
And, uh, you know, we play at a high level in practice, which I always tell them if you play at a high level in practice, it makes the game that much easier. Yeah, I, it must suck, though, at the beginning of the season where, you know, you don't have those guys. They're still, you know, fighting for the Carrier Dome championship up there for the state. Yeah, States. yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, if you can get guys to go to the state championship in any sport, it's only going to help you. Yeah, that's right. That's know. right. These guys, are, these guys are a great group. Yeah, man. Look, you guys are having fun. You're enjoying yourself. A lot of the guys to actually experiment on the court I saw a few times. Um, but we'd like to thank you for the gracious, being a gracious host to us, man. We love it here. The lighting, um, the pizza was, uh, part the pizza part the best, best pizza, pizza we had. had. I mean, it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, AD, Kenny, man, he's an awesome guy. Yep, um, I just I just love what you guys do here, and you guys are winning on the court, off the court, I'm, I'm assuming, too, with your guys being you know, student athletes. But yeah, I'd like yeah, to thank you for um, having us. Yeah, having thanks here. for coming, guys. Yeah, my guys are scholar athlete guys, so we're, we're really proud of them on and off the court, like you said. I'm glad you guys came. I follow you guys. Oh, thank thanks, you. Guys. Guys are awesome. Thank All you. right, thank you.